Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about the parts of your instrument. Actually, this is more of a review from what we did at the beginning of the school year. So you'll need your instrument and you'll need your book. All of the answers are in your book on page two. And you will also be getting a worksheet. The worksheet looks like this. Here's the chart that has the parts of your instrument. And here's the word bank. Now what I did was I numbered all of the lines up here. You can answer the questions up there or you can put them on this one. So it's all numbered for your answers. And there's also some additional answers. Don't forget to write in the names of your instrument or the names of your uh, strings in order of the highest to the lowest. So take your instrument. Now I'm gonna have you turn it towards yourself so you're looking at it. However, I'm gonna turn it around so that you can see exactly what I'm pointing to. So we're gonna start at the top, and this is a scroll, and you can remember it because it rolls. Here's the peg box. There's the nut, that little piece of wood that's right across there is the nut. Here are the pegs, and this is the neck. So now you can think about your body, the neck, the back, the front or the top, and here are the ribs. This black uh, thing is the fingerboard. And there's our bridge that's not glued down. The tailpiece and a fine tuner. Now my instrument only has one, but yours should have four. Right here are the F holes because it looks like a cursive F. And on the inside is a sound post. Right there on the inside, I don't know if you could see it on mine but you'll be able to see it on yours. And here's the chin rest. On the violin and viola, it has an end button, but one of the questions I'm going to ask you is, what is it called on a cello? And that's the rod that, that pulls out and will connect with the floor, and that's called an end pin. Let's move on to the bow, the tip or the point, bow stick, bow hair that you're not going to touch, Here's the winding and the grip, adjusting screw, and the frog. After you tighten your bow and you're ready to play, don't forget to put your rosin on. Well, there you have it. So there are all the answers to your worksheet. And if you have any questions, just shoot me an email. Have a great day, stay safe, and let the music play on.